It's the march to the championship. East Regional Final from Washington, D.C. Number three, Marquette against number four, Syracuse. Welcome to the Lie Makers on Sporting News. I'm Micah Roberts with Richie Bachelary. Before we get into this game, Richie, great call, plus 220. Syracuse on the money line over Indiana and the under. You and Kenny White all over it. Is it that easy? Uh, yeah, it was that easy today. Sometimes the games play the way the games are handicapped. We figured there'd be a lot less shots in this game because of the zone defense. Indiana didn't see a lot of the zone, and it's exactly what happened. 48 and 47. Syracuse is nine shots less in the tournament than they were during the regular season, and we're going to keep see this keep going. Wow. We, the, the last time now we saw Syracuse play Marquette it was at Marquette, February 25th. Syracuse a one and a half point favorite on the road. Marquette gets the home win, but a lot's changed from them to now. Well, Talk about the rating and where we're at with the point spread in this game. Yeah, now they were in a cold, they were in a little bit of a cold Very run cold. during that first meeting. But what happens is nothing. The rating stays about the same. It never really fluctuates too much, and that's going to make Syracuse about a five-and-a-half point favorite against Marquette. And don't let the Marquette-Miami game fool you on Marquette. We've been against them the last, the first two games of the tournament, and they struggled winning by three. They beat a team in Miami that shot about 30% from the field, ice cold. They jumped out 20-point lead in the first half. It's a throwout. You don't, you don't boost Marquette up because of the game uh, against Miami. Well, to that point, Marquette on the same level. I mean, combined three points they won by against Davidson, right. which. You thought they should have uh, Davidson should have won the game. Absolutely. So, and then against Butler, a two-point win. So Marquette, yes, they are fairly lucky to be here. Mm -hmm. But the point is, they're here now for the oh, first time true. since 2003, playing in the Elite Eight. They got to the Final Four that time. Jim Beheim in this spot. Not a bad coach to get his team. Is no, he is. He's a winning coach, and he's got a winning team with the kids. They got they got this fair, this MC Williams, Michael Carter yes. Williams. 24 against Indiana. Trish had a good game. Sutherland not too much, but it was a good effort. And they held Zeller to 10. They all the depot, decent effort, 16 points. But the defense, the zone is stifling. I'm looking at the next total going under anything. Now remember, this total wasn't posted since we're shooting this now. But anything under like 125, 125 and a half, I'm playing this game under again. And that goes to Syracuse, the way they've been playing well. They've won their last three games. The total has gone under all three. They played yep. stifling defense, and, and we've seen a change in Syracuse, their play. Ever since they got embarrassed by Georgetown, they only scored 39 points um, in that game. Um, They've gone on to win six of seven. You noted neutral courts. This is a good spot um, for them, isn't it? Yeah, and, and the, one, uh, the, ones, the one game they did lose, Louisville, they were up. up 15 points. Game figures five and a half. It's a tournament game. I could see it actually being, I know you like five. I can see five. If there's not a lot of fluctuation to the number, meaning if you can't lay four or you can't take six and a half or seven, the game winds up being a pass. If the total's mid-20s, there's not a lot you could do with it either. Sometimes there just ain't a play on the game, so you can't play it. You can't force it. Well, I like the hot team here myself, and I agree. Lay the lowest number possible. Uh, and the total, if that's true, the under is probably going to happen again with Syracuse. That looks like the play this week. 